what is good thank you so much for once again stopping back by i really do hope that you're going to enjoy today's fast babe toy and that you're going to keep coming back for more in today's video i'm so so excited because i love anything that has to do with women literally anything that has to do with women count me in you can see you can get inside absolutely think we are amazing creatures amazing beings <laughs> but today we're doing a feminine hygiene video so this is just how i do things this is just how i uh, grew up to do things and feel like it works don't forget it's the basic guide so this is all this is like a more of a video dedicated to like my younger sisters that watch my channel because i honestly would not like to believe what's called koko on gangam or on dalak nami even worse even worse who doesn't do all these things because then journey no but i'm joking i'm joking um i'm joking but this is just how i do things and this is my feminine hygiene tip guide if you'd be interested in listening to that whether you're older than me <laughs> or you are my age or you know you just want to see if we do things the same or maybe you share the same sentiments please do um do keep watch this what do keep watching this video to the end. Don't forget to like, to comment, and subscribe. I am and carrying my video. laptop, so I'm going to place it down here. Um, oh, this, this skipper is cut out, guys. So it's like a weird shape of a t-shirt. So if you're seeing this part of me. Um, so I did write my tips down because I didn't want to forget anything. Because for the longest time, I was like, hmm, how do I produce this video? Without wasting any time, let's start with the video pro tip number one water water into was under my puzzle man's water i think in kindergarten it's one of the first things that you learn the importance of water water is a need not a want we can't live without water the water like there's so much there's so many benefits to water and i feel like we know it um but we don't drink water myself included um it took me to be very intentional about drinking water to drink water water is not nice like it's not something you just drink i think you know, for most of my life i would i wasn't drinking water like i drink water if i'm brushing my teeth and then you know that's when i drink water i drink water if i'm like drinking pills or if i'm if i need to if i need to um release myself from a burb like from burbing that's the only time i drink water i would never just put a scale to it and say today i'm drinking a liter of water i'm drinking two liters of water but ever since i started doing that which was maybe nine months ago my life changed my life changed my skin changed my weight is more maintained in the sense of it's not imbalanced I don't drastically gain, I don't drastically lose. My weight is just. Whereas before, I think my weight um, would fluctuate. I would have times where I've gained, I've had, I would have times where I haven't, like I'm losing in a way. Um, with skin, it is true when they say that, I think I mentioned it in my, one of my previous videos. So if you're a regular regular in this channel, you know that we've, we've had this conversation before. We'll see. Ever since I started drinking water, my skin has been showing itself it's it has been showing so guys the list goes on and on what what is even good for your coochie down there in fact for your whole body what what is like a cleanser it's an inner cleanser it's an outer cleanser so make a habit of drinking water Pro tip number two Works on I I don't care if you you're not going to work that day, you're not going to school that day. It is cold that day. Works on guys. You know, girls have this bad habit. It's a bad habit. It's like I'm writing it off. It's very bad, guys. Girls have this bad habit of, um, I don't understand. Like, how do you? Oh, I don't understand. 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 Just because you're not going anywhere. Go shop ten. What's the window? Mm -hmm. 
uqopula linga mapijama mvuge ngao kuze kishoni ilanga kula mulu kuhlo kula mulu kanyi soko kesi uta ita keza pele no i off i off i off voice and guess i feel like guys um it's you know this is a habit that was instilled in me by my grandmother like my grandmother you guys used to fight uguzi kusha ute na uke zile so sama kishi na uke zile and people also have this habit of um they wake up they clean and then they bath i don't just because i don't do things that way i will wake up i'll bath and then i'll clean so i'm not saying just because i do things that way that's the only correct way to do it but i think if you know that you're gonna have a cleaning day at least wake up early i'm not so very well even was a family living me was a clean so long i am i was a child to the market is going to come here clean at least four or eight who clean so that by 10 o'clock does it make sense i'm gonna show you guys what all right for you um i think also it's a habit that worked for me a lot in life it, it it makes you have a productive day it makes you feel very productive very rejuvenated very alive you you know you take yourself seriously man you know when you when you look good when you and part of looking good is looking clean when you are clean you do good like it's so hard to be in a bad mood when you're looking good when you're smiling good like you're on your a game and i feel like how you start your day sets up the rest of your day so please i could miss on the part of scares scares are two times a day protect number three scares are two times a day this thing of bathing once a day uh, make it make sense why why oh so long oh see i said man see kid um is a band um is in bam um is functioning as it should um it's producing as it should producing body liquids you put lotion in your body you put we put oils in our body body and i think about us women we love layering we i don't know how many lotions i use i don't know how many things i use and i think i'm not the only one we love layering so when you don't bath if so what happens to all that layering where is it where is it because i like is all as women um you go through seasons of discharge so now are you telling me that the discharge that happened throughout the whole day you get to sleep with it make it make sense I, I i personally don't understand people that don't bath two times a day um unless if i don't know like there was a like a very strong reason i'm not saying i've never done it i'm not saying ever since i was born all my life i've been bathing two times a day but it's a priority to me it's it's a routine like the people that know me know me like we could come back from groove at freaking or we could come back from anywhere at freaking 12 o'clock i will still go shower i was uh, my husband would even say who cares and i'm like yeah i'm not gonna give in so i like guys I, I, I can't and i think it's a very it's a very good habit to two times a day guys two times a day same goes for brushing your teeth again i don't understand the the teeth the umloma has been working the whole day you've been chewing you've been doing a lot you've been eating different foods different acids different ingredients all mixing in one mouth don't you think your mouth deserves to be washed after this long day make it make sense yeah oh but two times a day i feel like i go to this i feel like whether it's winter, whether it's snowy season, whether I get to my hibo, 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 hibo. I'm one of that person who will, let's say get to my, obviously I don't touch water if it's done the, if it's done the ring, if it's, if it's done the ring. I will wait until it subsides and I will go shower. Invest in a good body wash. Invest in a good mouthwash. As a lady, you don't have to go for the priciest range. It's going to leave your skin feeling different. Not that soap is not enough. Soap is definitely enough. Soap does the job. It keeps you um clean. But invest in a good body wash so that 
you know, you also feel good about yourself. There's something that happens in taking care of yourself. It gives you an outer experience. You feel so good about yourself. You'd swear, you've done so much. I always go on about how the shower is part of my self-connection time i connect with myself in the shower i love taking care of myself and i feel i feel good after this so because i walk out of the shower feeling good i'm going to produce good energy i become a good sister i become a good friend i become a good wife i become a good daughter i'm generally in a happier mood so i can serve all these people all these roles in my life better because i've done the work for me something as little as showering something as little as doing my, my my face routine just keeping myself hygienic for me it comes off as an outer experience and often i find i'm a much better person to the people around me because i've taken care of this person first um so yes inv invest in a good um shower gel in a good mouthwash even if it's the cheapest one on the shelf start somewhere start somewhere so that you can end up finding what you like and as you grow financially you end up choosing exactly what you like because you can afford exactly what you like but you gotta start somewhere even if it means you start ngabo shower to shower like romanticize bilo like in in the smallest ways possible you would see when i go instagram my bubbles before this podium my bubbles i'll go with zanish you will see the outer experience that this thing of just because now we wear wigs nga pants we wear i was no ma Guys, <laughs> invest in good colors invest in good um clean hair when i talk about hair i don't talk about um weaves per se i don't talk about braids per se i talk about neatness if you like weaves if you're a weave girl weave a clean head. if you're a weave girl keep it neat i ain't a pelly in red you know treat a pelly in red just like how together now two weeks washing washing you know you know if so my braids if also some braids like me, keep them clean, keep them neat. You know, my mom taught me this thing, Yoguti. You don't wait until Uzu to wash your hair. You can wash your hair braided. Wash braids. It's even easier now. We have these things called co-washes. I know Dark and Lovely has a co-wash where you just literally, it's like a shampoo, but you don't have to rinse it off. It's like a co-wash. It's a conditioner and a wash where you just um, apply it and your braids are clean and neat and they're washed. Um, the next one is face when it comes to face and taking care of our face we wash we scrub we mask we tone we moisturize we protect by using sunscreen but see now if you look at you who has a mask day you know that i'll make an example of myself for instance on sundays it's my mask day on wednesday it's my scrub day and then i have a daily routine um your, your face wash electricity is back which is like every single day um you don't need money to do this also when you're using a face wash you are what? oh that's my kettle you are literally using a pinch of a face wash it's not like you're gonna put a lot so invest in a face wash it's gonna last you the whole month guys there's face washers and face and like drugstores for your clicks your disc game. face washes that go on for like what 30 rand start there like it's fine do something so you know you get people asking you oh go on up sweaty oh your skin is so nice that's because it's taken care of that's because a, a consistent skincare routine is in place it's not a thing of
our skins are not even the same their skin is hard they can get away with that but we can't our skin is more softer and smooth and delicate therefore it deserves the same gentle delicate and smooth treatment so that you can get the outer results of glowing skin uh, and if you can um invest in demo planning invest in facials romanticize your own life this doesn't have to be a monthly thing but guys demo planning is like what 500 rand where i get mine um i know my beautician does demo planning for like 500 rand or 600 rand it's around there though it doesn't have to be every single month but twice a year you can take yourself for demo planning if you say you know what every um week i'm saving 20 rand six months even less like even less than six months you would have accumulated enough money to go do a facial a facial you would have accumulated money to go do demo planning oh so i have an entire video where i'm doing my own demo planning oh so look, sit down on youtube find out what is demo planning how can you do it there is nothing that you can't be creative about and recreate and remake and do it at home i have done my own demo planning at home find out what do they use like my facials do your own facial at home the next one is nails. Excuse me, facial is easy. Yeah, when I say Isanja, said on Bazani, says a lot. Isanja, you know, I have a friend of mine. Um, he's a dude, and he said to me not a long time ago. Google see, and the first thing I got in Nagai Mundo is Bazani. Are her toenails, and I was like, Ufi ane lapo, and he's like, Give me stress. If Gizawa attracted to you and we start talking and we keep going on dates and we go because I need to see your, your your nails. I need to see. And I'm not saying when I refer to nails, I'm not saying have um acrylics like me. If your vibe is gel nails, I shall clean the I shall yeah when I do some nails, mother said chipped. I'm a nails and golile. In the posin they get manje, we are going to say I shall give isolar <laughs> And I'm not talking about acrylics. I'm not saying every month, every two weeks, go change your nails. I'm saying keep them clean. If you like your own natural nails, keep them clean. File a pill in the pozak. If I like us, less than 20 rand. File in the pozak. Tell a pretty clear nail polish. I'm not so bad. Plain G. Tell a pretty clear nail polish. I'm not so bad. I'm not so bad. I'm not so bad. Even if it's your own nails. What's this? What the mouth would say? Hey, bro. Hey, bro. Same thing goes for your toes. You don't have to. I know maintenance is expensive. I know doing nails every single week, every single two weeks is cute, but it's no child's play. It is expensive. And I'm not saying everybody should do that. I'm saying keep it clean. Ingrown. That's all I'm asking. Yeah, when I equip and get kunji, I understand. Go and make yourself tan cool, isn't it, Angie? It's one of my pet peeves, personally. Like, I feel like if you're wearing something Kanjena and you haven't shaved or waxed or there's hair on your armpits i can't take you seriously i i can't like i've had friends where i was like i will i will specifically remind you show me shaver show me not to shaver i will specifically because oh my god i think it looks horrible i think it looks so horrible and i've found because there's a lot of ladies that don't mind that there's a lot of ladies that and i'm like it's not cute it's not cute and it really looks dirty so and these i feel like i feel like this whole pro tips that i've compiled are things that don't cost money are things that you can do for yourself are things that as busy with you will be a little bit cautious say, well, that's a kind of a life chef you know and i'm not saying um 
go wax. I'm not saying go pay money. I'm saying tend to shave. I'm not putting in. When I'm cosmetic stuff, there's a shaver included and you shave your armpits and the coochie down there. Go if you go for waxing, if you can't afford waxing. And again, some people don't like shaving their coochie, which is completely fine. Keep it trimmed, dear son. Trim a bit. I'm going to ask you order. I think more than anything, you deal in a cleanness, you deal in an order in people. Trim a pill. I'm going to say, Okay, you prefer not to shave, which is completely fine. As fine as bad, I may like shaving. You may not like shaving, but the trim. The next thing is <laughs> hand cream and gum should always be in your bag. Because there's no need for us to, to have a Pashi. If, for instance, I don't know, you, you you feel that hand cream is a bit too expensive, you can even have a Vaseline. Just keep your hands moisturized. Because I feel like we really use our hands a lot. And our hands are part of our bodies that will, are always visible to people. They're always um, in people's faces. I talk with my hands. We work with our hands. You can't, it's not like... In God, you know, if I'm wearing a long sleeve, I can have a cheat day and not moisturize my body. Your hands are always in people's faces. So to I, I think to maintain, for me, it's very important, um, the outer experience, the outer appearance of a person. For the outer appearance for my own self, most importantly, it's not even for who's watching me, who's going to notice me. It's more of for my own progressiveness in a day certain things need to be in place i can't i almost can't operate with not these things done i almost I, I go insane if there's anything in this list missing because for me that's how i keep the self-love that's how i maintain that's how i constantly remind myself that your babes you're you're worth it you're worth it a fresh breath a fresh breath is is mandatory it is mandatory because I think bad breath is like one of the the worst things ever. Literally. It, don't repeat clothes. I find also I found that there's some people who are gonna be like, no, get close because it's not in zone and then they work the next day. If I understand with denim, I'm not saying wear denim once and wash them. I understand with a jacket. But there's things that I don't understand. I don't understand how You'd wear escape and then repeat it the next day. As thing with the snowy la, the fact that it was snowy la, so I think that I'm not quite sure. I was doing wash. Um, Zimbu water has its own um scent. It has its own scent. Don't repeat clothes. Just don't. Don't repeat clothes. It's not the last one. We need that. I feel like very important. I've came across people, this is not even like gender associated, generally. Some people burp and they don't say excuse me. I think that falls under manners. It's like, how do you burp and not say excuse me? Who do you as a lady? Like, you just grow up. Uh, and then once you are taller, it's like, I find it so disrespectful. Like, especially, in the, like, especially, I, I can't even say especially in public because it's something that you gotta do in private. Or, and then automatically you're going to be able to do it in public. It's the same thing. Lending an ayans a car. Lending an ayans in public. Ia ayans a car. Getting an iguanis in a band. Ibing a guanis a car. You understand? So it's the same principle that if you generally burp, even when you're on your own, even if you're in your, your home and you don't say, excuse me, it's the same thing you're going to do when you're outside because you're going to forget because you've taught your body that we just burp and we don't say, he out, he out, he out, he out, he out, and I, I find it so unhygienic. Oh my god! Oh my god! Um, and then the whole uh, I think these extra precautions are even more uh, heightened when you're on your period. I didn't include the period segments in this video because I feel like a period routine is something on its own because that's a that's a whole um intense week on its own where everything is more like if you bath two times a day you bath more if you're on your period if you, like you change when you're on your period so i didn't include the, the period um week in this hygienic video because i feel like 
that is, an, is a severe one on its own but if you guys would love to see like a period routine a period hygienic video do let me know and then we can i'll see what i can do i'll make it exciting i will make it periods are not exciting but i mean <laughs> i'll be creative around it um do let me know some of your pro tips if there's any pro tips that i forgot any pet peeves that you feel like it was yes i may as well this was like it's bad it's bad across all genders but it was if it's done by a woman because it's just like no babes no no i'd love to hear from you i'd love to get your pro tips and yeah but for now thank you so so much for watching you definitely are a star i'll see you on my next video bye